Welcome to today's session on new ideas in management. I am Professor Subhash Sharma and today we will discuss about the new thinking and new perspectives in management and leadership. So, in the previous uh, module we discussed theory K and the OSHA model. I trust you found, found it interesting. The third model which we, am, we are going to discuss is what we call the MBA model of mind management. The mind management has acquired a new dimension in the field of management because ultimately everything originates from mind and if the mind is in control and if the mind management is effective, then the personal effectiveness goes up. By MBA, we mean the man, buddhi uh, and ahankar. Man, which means the power of the heart and the power of intuition. So, that is the idea of the man. The buddhi means the power of the intellect, the rational dimension of decision making and the ahankar means the ego dimension of decision making. So, this MBA model is a model of decision making as well as a model of management. So, the, all the decisions are made in terms of these three key ideas. There are decisions which are made on the basis of the man which means the intuition and the heart dimension becomes very important. Today, we are using the word emotional quotient. So, that is what is being reflected by the man dimension. The buddhi is the IQ, the intelligence quotient dimension and ahankar is the EQ, is the AQ, ahankar quotient which means the ego, how much is the dominant dimension in terms of the ego. For example, we see in many different situations that many decisions are made not only in the corporate world, but also in the politics and the polit political field because of the ego. The ego plays such a dominant role and then you end up making wrong decisions because of the ego and therefore, what is important is how do we combine the man and buddhi that means the rationality and the intuition together to arrive at the decisions in a proper manner. Now, this also we call it as the wisdom model of decision making. The wisdom model of decision making is based on a combination of the heart and the head integrated together and we have an equation which we call the wisdom equation which is W is equal to R plus I wisdom is reason plus intuition. So, reason being represented by the intellect or the buddhi and intuition being represented by the in, by the heart dimension. So, that is the basic model of mind management and therefore, it is important for us to gain self mastery over the man, buddhi and ahankar. If we are able to gain mastery over our man as well as buddhi and as well as ahankar, then this will lead to what we call another level of MBA and that is the mind balancing attitude. So, therefore, when we put these MBA models together, then at the bottom level is what we call master of business administration. Now, that is the MBA standard definition of MBA, but then that MBA we can become very effective provided we understand the dynamics of the man, buddhi and ahankar, the second model of MBA. And then the third model of MBA is that if we are able to exercise mastery over man, buddhi and ahankar, then we move towards the mind balancing attitude. So, this is the idea of the MBA model of decision making. Now, is there an interlinkage between these three models? We have discussed the theory K model of management and leadership. We have discussed the OSHA model of human behavior and we have discussed the MBA model of decision making. Now, what is the interlinkage? Are they interlinked or what is the common thread among all these three things, three models? In order to understand the common linkage, let us put these three models juxtaposing each other. The OSHA model, the MBA model and the XYZ model. Now, in the OSHA model, the A is for the aggression and in the MBA model, 
is for ahankar and in the theory k model the this is there is an equivalence to this in terms of theory x in the osha model h is for the s and h spiritual and humanistic and that is equivalent broad equivalence is in terms of the buddhi and the y theory and the s and o level in osha are broadly equivalent to the man dimension of the mba model and the theory z dimension in the theory k model so we can see that there is a broad equivalence of these three models and so there is a some kind of interrelationship between these models now the fourth model which we are discussing is the idea of the corporate rishi model of leadership how do we understand the idea of corporate rishi for this we have got the four steps model of manager and leadership ideas at the level 1 you are a manager at the level 2 you are a leader at the level 3 you are a thought leader and at the level 4 you are a corporate rishi now there is a subtle difference between all the four dimensions of uh, management and leadership represented by in this you know ladder model of level 1 level 2 level 3 and level 4 now when we talk about corporate rishi how do we define the rishi model the idea of rishi here is any any individual who can re see the things in new perspective so seeing and re seeing the things in new perspective for example if you are in the it sector in the it sector how do you see and re see the events and opportunities and threats in new ways and therefore you design your strategies accordingly and take your organization forward in that direction so that is the idea of rishi so rishi here like we in the ancient times also we had in india all the rishis and the munis now these rishis were actually in a way they were seeing the reality in different ways so same idea is today applicable in the corporate world and also in other fields of human society so the rishi means the ability to re see the things so what is your rishi competence if your rishi competence is good that means your ability to see and re see the things and events and opportunities in new ways then you will be more successful so the idea of corporate rishi in more operational terms in the knowledge economy is in terms of what we call a new concept of ceo c stands for creative e for enlightened and o for organic leader today we need these kinds of leaders in almost every field of human activity because we are in a knowledge economy and in a knowledge economy you need to be creative so it is the idea of what we said the man the man dimension or the heart dimension the intuition dimension and creativity dimension these are very important they have acquired a new focus in the management field e is enlightened so a manager has to be enlightened he has to be aware of the global trends and he has to be aware of what is happening around him at the micro level at the macro level and the global level and you know he has to take a more broader perspective he should have a broader vision so the enlightenment dimension is very much required and the third one is the organic leader organic means you have the positive relationship with the environment with the stakeholder and you create more synergy in the within the organization and also with all the stakeholders so that is the basic idea of the corporate rishi a corporate rishi is a new type of ceo who is creative enlightened and organic so these are the basic models of the management and leadership if we see within india how this idea is now getting a new dimension or a new momentum that in the business field from 1950s to 2000 the idea of business maharajas was very dominant that was the socialistic era of the hum, the india's development period and therefore the phrase which was used 
for the business leaders was the business maharajas. But with the advent of the IT sector and thereby its impact on the other sectors, today we are seeing a shift from the business maharajas to corporate rishis. There are a lot of new people, new businessmen and the new CEOs who have emerged from nowhere in the IT sector and many other fields because of the creativity, because of the enlightenment and because of the organic dimensions of their thinking. So, this, these are the basic ideas. Another question which we need to ask today is can corporate rishis be produced or they are born? So, in my opinion the corporate rishis can be produced and they are born in schools and that provide the new vision. So, the B schools which provide new vision, they are the place, those are the places where the corporate rishis are born. And then they are also produced through the factory of experience. When these people after understanding these new ideas go to the field and experience the reality out there, they develop their re, re competence. And therefore, in my opinion the corporate issues can be produced and therefore, the big challenge before the B schools is that they can focus on the idea of the corporate rishis and train the students in that direction and bring them their level of consciousness to the higher level of consciousness from the animalistic level to the humanistic level to the spiritual level and to the oneness level and use of the theory K model in terms of managing day to day activities and using the man dimension or the intuitive dimension or the, in or the heart dimension along with the head dimension. So, this is the basic idea and this if we follow these models then there are a lot of success stories which we can see in our life and we can see so that some of these models have been unconsciously or consciously used by many great leaders of the corporate world and also in other fields of human society. This can lead us to the success and therefore, I will conclude my talk by giving you uh, my song of success which is titled as the step by step song of success. Now, in this song the success is defined in terms of four key ideas. The first idea is the climbing the mountain. So, when you have to climb the mountain, you go step by step. Of course, sometimes you may be lucky that somebody can provide you the helicopter and put take you on the top of the mountain, but I am not talking of those situations. I am talking of the situation where people from the middle class families are trying to rise up in the life and they have to take up the step by step approach. The second idea is going to the moon. Going to the moon means exploring opportunities which not many people have explored before. So, this is a metaphor for innovation. So, you are creative, you are innovative, then you come, come out with a new idea, new perspective and therefore, you are taking a new path. The third idea is taking a quantum jump like the kangaroo. So, once you start working and uh, you know learn the things out there from the field and develop your competences, then you are ready to take a quantum jump. And the fourth idea is continue your journey. Do not be satisfied by one success, but once you have achieved a success, go for the next success, no, go for the next success. That is the idea which we call Charevati, Charevati. That means continue your journey, continue your journey. So, these are the four ideas in this song and uh, so we, we can, uh, I can give you the song now. Step by step and step by step, step by step and step by step. We climb the mountain step by step. We climb the mountain step by step, step by step and step by step. We go to the moon and take a new step, 
we go to the moon and take a new step step by step and step by step we take a quantum jump and take a new step we take a quantum jump and take a new step step by step and step by step we achieve the success and move ahead we achieve the success and move ahead step by step and step by step step by step and step by step we move ahead we move ahead step by step and step by step we climb the mountain step by step step by step and step by step step by step and step by step thank you very much